Hi, my name's Tracy. Hope you're all okay and doing well and having a good week so far. And we're not far away. Christmas is upon us. Yeah! Right, today I thought I'm going to find bargains under £5 for teachers and teaching assistants. So let's get to it. Right, my first item, I mean, they're all from different shops. They're not all from Poundland. Uh, I'll tell you along the way and let you know. The box is from the pound shop. And in this box, I put a little rose bottle. I put a little decoration. Uh, and I fill the tissue bag up and little sweets. So this all came to two pounds, about probably two pounds, yes, two pounds. But I think that's just so lovely. And I'm sure any teacher would think, oh, I feel special. <laughs> that's number one. Uh, my second gift would be a mug. Everyone likes a Christmas mug. So this mug was from Home Bargains. Home Bargains. And I filled it with pens from the pound shop when you get a pack. And to stop them from moving, if you put tissue paper in there, it'll, it looks pretty in, a, in an angle. And then I just put a cut and decay in just to put a bit of decoration on it to make it festive. I didn't cellophane it up just in case, sorry, just in case you um, couldn't see it with the ring light. But I think that's a lovely gift. I'll put that there. So that was my gift number two. And gift number three was just a tea light holder. I just bring it up to you. So this was from the pound shop. I mean, it's very pretty for a pound. It's nice to go on a table decoration. Uh, there wasn't a tea light with it, so obviously I've purchased uh, some tea lights from Home Bargains, which are about seventy nine p. They're the frosted vanilla. As you all know, I love Home Bargains. And I love all the candles, so. And I would put this in a gift bag. And I'm sure all the teachers and the assistants would appreciate that. So that was three. Number four was a wax melt. We all like wax melts at Christmas time. So this is a little, it's only like a little mini one. So it's only probably about that big which is a nice size it's quite cute little and with six wax melts and this is in the scent cotton blossom uh, they did have a Christmas one but I I thought I'd choose this one and this was only 149 so it's still under budget I'm still doing really well and that could be nice in a little bit of tissue paper and a gift bag and I'm sure sure any teacher would appreciate that Next one. I got a little candle in there. It's a little Yankee one. If I bring it close for you to see. There we go. And then so just another little candle, which obviously is just a glass which I purchased from Asda for a pound. And uh, the candle inside was a pound, but you could use the Yankee ones or you can use the Wickford and Co. Anything that you want, to be fair. And this is, was only two pounds. And I just got some stickers from the pound shop where you get two for a pound and stuck them on the glass just to make it all look all festive. And I'm sure a teacher or an assistant would like that as well. So that's still, that's come round to two pounds. I'm doing very well. I mean, we all don't want to spend so much at Christmas and we've got presents to buy and we're all trying to penny pinch everything. So 
So next one, I purchased these boxes from Poundland. So you get two for a pound. So idea number one would be like a bath bomb and a little candy cane. And I put some pretty little Christmas tissue paper in there. I mean, you could put a little chocolate in there if you wanted to. But I thought that was nice. Uh, the bath bomb was from Home Bargains and that was, mm, I think it was about 79 or 99p. So that still come under budget. So that's like £1.50. And in the second box, I, mean, I did have another box with it. So I thought I'd fill it up and show you. So in the second box, I just put sweets. So I purchased this chocolates the chocolate eclairs i mean you can choose anything i thought these were quite festive oh, nice um uh, just dropping them everywhere <laughs> come here they're nice like festive color so i thought that's nice on the teacher's uh, table or when they're working late or they're doing overtime that's a nice one nice little gift got another little container and this was from home bargain so it's a little it's ever so pretty so pretty with little snowflakes and it's silver i mean after it gets used it could you could put anything in there i've put little scented candle tea lights there we go and i think there was about 25 tea lights that can fit in in there I mean, you could pour a little sweet in between if you wanted to, or just leave them like that, which I thought was nice. And a, and a nice little note, didn't go amiss. So you could get your child to write in there and say thank you for all the help that they received this year and during COVID. And what else have I got? Right, I picked these up. Right, I packed the one, so it's just like a tea light holder, and it's it's really thick. Right, it's it's heavy, and it was fifty p from Asda. So, and I put a little tea light in there. You could put chocolates in there if you wanted to, and then I just decorated it with an Asda decoration. So you could just purchase these decorations and just scatter them around, reuse some of them, keep some of them for when you need it for next year. But I just think it makes it look so pretty and festive. And a teacher could think that they're a star teacher. <laughs> and then I've just put candy, a little candy cane. You can't go wrong with a little candy cane on every single decoration. <laughs> So I'm getting there, I'm nearly done. Um, oh, right. I was also going to say, if you have glass jars, reuse them. Why, why buy containers if you could reuse what you've got at home? So always try and have a little look around and see if you've got anything that you could upcycle. So obviously I haven't used this yet. I've, it's only just finished, so. I'll be taking the sticker off and then I'll be soaking this in white vinegar, which will take the smell out. So anything like that made the candle smell, would the smell just evaporates and it'll be something that I can use again. So you could use chocolates in there if you wanted to, or you could put the tea lights in there if you wanted to, or, or rubbers or highlighters. It's a, a lovely little gift for a teacher. So, so you'd even save some money. You probably buy it for a pound and then put whatever you want in your jar that you didn't have to pay for. <laughs> my last one, my last item, I'll just get to here. I had this uh, probably last Christmas and it was a little candle in there. So it's glass and I just put some chocolates again because everyone needs chocolate at Christmas time. So I, I washed it all out, all the wax melt, washed, the, washed it out and I filled it with chocolates and I thought, let's upcycle. So that 
is my haul if it's a haul or an ideas that i've had today so you could call it whatever you want to call it thank you for tuning in and watching all the way through and i hope you liked it and if you did give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me and hopefully if you can comment down below if you've tried any of these gift ideas that i had in store and let me know how you get on and if you could share anything that i could use for next time as an idea for a teacher so thank you very much bye